hi guys welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele today we're making yam porridge potong poto and i'm making mine the soup method okay so for this recipe i have some yam i'm using three different types of sweet potatoes guys you definitely need some atomo in your um in yam porridge i have two pounds of meat one cup of palm oil i have um, my spice mix, maggi cube, no chicken flavor, and some salt. I'm using two of my spice cube. I have some habanero peppers, onions, and some tomatoes. I also have some baked mackerel, guys. Sama, if you have the one from Ghana, all well and good. In here, I have a tablespoon each of erin powder and shrimp powder, which is perfect flavoring for those of you that don't like to use no cubes and stuff like that. All right, guys, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and parboil my meat by adding some salt and water and allowing it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to pour out this water and then I'll go ahead and add my seasonings and my spices to the meat and steam it. Now, once I steam it, I like my meat crunchy, so I'm going to go ahead and fry it. If you don't like your meat crunchy, you can leave it just like this, but as for me, I'm going to fry it, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and peel and cut my yams. And this is how I do it. But if you can't, just turn it over and peel it towards the cutting board so you don't cut yourself. I'll now cut them into bite-sized pieces because that's how we usually cut them for yam porridge. And please keep them in cold water as you cut them so that your potatoes and yams doesn't discolor, okay? Guys, look at the beautiful array of colors we have going on over here. Okay, so at this point, I added all my vegetables. I'm using about three quarters of the onions because I'm going to put the rest in my palm oil. I added my seasoning and now I'm adding my erring and shrimp powder. To that, I'm going to add my stock from the meat and about four cups of water. I'm just cleaning out all the juices. Don't mind me. And then I'm going to cover it up and allow it to cook. My meat have fried nicely, so I'm going to take it out and set it aside. And my vegetables are ready, so I'm going to go ahead and blend it and put it back in my porridge. So guys, you want to keep stirring because you don't want your porridge to stick on the bottom of your pot. And then you're going to cover it and allow it to simmer for about 10 more minutes. And then after that, you're going to take a wooden spoon and you're going to mash up some of the... Um, yams and the sweet potatoes so that you have some smoothness and also some chunks make sure you don't um, mash all of it up I'll now go ahead and fry my onions in my um, palm oil and add that to my porridge okay at this point I'm going to add my meat and my fish once I add that I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and add my palm oil with all those delicious onions, okay? So guys, look how delicious our yam porridge is looking. I mean, I kid you not. It smells so good in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And to all my subscribers, thank you guys so much. I love you all and I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye.